to add in the color flashing, what we're going to do is use the effect of color scale. So the way that we can do it, we can apply a color scale to individual layers, but that doesn't work when I have a more complex character rig. But if I take this whole character rig and right click on it and choose group selection, it puts it into a group. Once it's in a group like this, where if I click here, I can still see I get all my layers and keyframes and everything I want to do with it. Now with that selected, with that group selected, I have to make sure it's the group is selected because after I've expanded, if I click here, close here, the group isn't selected because now uh, we'll see it's not as bright of green. So you think it's selected, but it's the peg inside is selected. So it shows you something selected, but it's not, the group isn't selected. So we have to select the group because I can't apply effects to a peg. I have to apply them to a group or a drawing layer. So I click on this layer and click on the plus go to effects and I will choose color scale. So now that adds in the color scale. Now what I want to do here, I can click plus and I will see I have different options. So my values will be zero to 255 for red, green, and blue. We can even do alpha. We can offset colors, but I'm just going to, if I want to effectively give this a complete color overlay, I am going to in the first frame of color scale I will, at this point, add in a keyframe. So function key F6. I'm going to go a few more frames over right here. And now at this point, I will add in another function key F6. And the two colors I want to change to make it become yellow I, means I need to combine red, so red at 255 and green at 255. So I just clicked in those squares and we can see that it happened. So now we can see we're black and then it goes to green. So if I want it to not flash quite as quick like that, what we can do is we can minimize this and I can now just take these two keyframes that I have I can move them but if I click on it click and drag and hold down option or alt we see that we get the plus so if I want it to stay for kind of a quarter of a second or so regular and then it shifts and it stays yellow and now to get it to shift back, I can hold down Alt. I will shift click to select both of those. Start dragging this block of frames. Hold down Option or Alt, it gives me the plus. So now we can see, so we're black, it goes to yellow. And now we're black. All right, so looks like this frame black. So it goes black, black, yellow for that duration and now we're black and now this one goes back to yellow. So what I really want to do is hold down option or, or just click, start dragging, hold down alt, it replaces it so now it stays. So we probably don't need that one in the middle. So there's a little kind of figuring out when that switch. So this was a black keyframe, that's a black keyframe or you know untouched. So values are one. Now we're at 255. So from here it affects what's prior to it. This affects what's prior to it. So this right here affects what's prior to it. This will affect what is prior to it. So now this being a yellow keyframe, click and drag, hold down option or alt, puts it there. So now if I hit play We'll see we get flashing character. Now if I want it, so this is a yellow keyframe. 
And if I want to have it stay yellow for a little bit, start dragging, hold down Option or Alt. Now we go to a black keyframe, start dragging, Option or Alt. And that keyframe right there. I don't know if we need it. So click on the keyframe, then click and drag to move them. So it just takes a little finessing to figure out which keyframe to put where. But now we can see we've generated a strobing color effect using color scale. Remembering that the values are between 0 and 1, now we can see the change happening. Now, if we don't want those, you know, the sliding, which it doesn't really give us any effect, it's either on or off, we could set all of our keyframes to stop motion keyframes if that would fit better. So again, you know, switch to stop motion versus motion keyframes since we're not getting a gradual change occurring. Um, So you can see in the render view how it takes effect. We'll make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. You can see how that color is over overlaying and is pretty strong with it. So it gives a decent result.